Uh, Tommy, that was pure theatre, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. It doesn't get any better than that. I mean, you know, I don't think in patches tonight we play... I mean, the Phoenix will be absolutely devastated. My old mate Tony Hand, because they... Uh, I thought they were the better team. They were more clinical. I know we had more pressure offensively, but I thought they played us to a tee. We gave up too many odd man rushes against the, you know, the hand line, which is, you know, Bogard's leading the league. And uh, our penalty killing was, was atrocious tonight, all over. So there wasn't a lot to pick from the game, but, you know, we, got, we went back to doing what we did best. We started chipping pucks. We started stretching their D into corners. We started winning the one-on-one -on -one battles, which we didn't do. And, you know, you pull your goalie at the end of a game, it's a lottery that you're going you're gonna to get puck possession and Eric took his goal. I mean, you can see, you know, I, I see little bits of him every night that I think he's going to help us. And that was a huge goal. And then Calder, Johnny on the spot once again. Carlson's, you know, relentless work rate down low. He throws it to Colds in the slot and we get the game tying goal. And then Danny Stewart gets uh, the overtime goal and uh, it's reminiscent of Edinburgh a couple of years ago when... Uh, you know, a lot of teams would have been dead and buried at that time. And I, I like the character because we didn't play well. Uh, four or five of our best players tonight stunk the joint out. Absolutely stunk the joint out. But we found a way to win. And it's all about the result in this business. At the point in the second period when you started to pull it back from 4-1, it looked like there was some belief. And it seemed to go again for some of the third period. How did you get it back together for that final minute? Final minute of the game? Yeah. No, it, it, we we had a time. It was a bit of lull in play, so we had a time to just to get our get ourselves together. We ran a little play. We tried to get three guys on the puck. I, I mean, I think it's you know it's desperation. It's desperate hockey at that time. I, I really felt if we'd have lost tonight, you know, we'd have put ourselves right on the back foot to retain that league title. But I think we can grow in confidence on what we did tonight because, like I say, some of our best players didn't didn't perform tonight. They gave everything they got, but they they didn't perform. They didn't play well, and. Uh, but we stepped up and, and we got the job done. I mean, you know, I had Manchester over the game with a, with a better team because they came and played a road game and they caught us out and they hit us continually on mad rushes. And it was just, from my point of view, it was so frustrating because, you know, we talked about what they do and how they do it. And I've got to have guys buying into defence as well, even though, you know, we've got the majority. We outshot my 21-11 in the second period. But it's about the result right now. And uh, I've said that to the goaltender and I've said that to every single player. It's about the result. And I've got to be honest, JF Praz didn't have a fat lot to do for the last 30 minutes of the game. You know, and that's, but they, you know, they were soaking us up and they, we weren't really getting inside them. So, you know, a fantastic theatre, you know, overtime win. Like, to be two goals down with two minutes to go and, and to go on and win it in overtime is, uh, keeps us right in the hunt. Um, the next game here at the Sky Dome is against a similar offensive side, but perhaps better in Belfast. Um, you don't want to be defending like that against them, I guess. No, I mean, we were... I won't hide it, Anthony. It's there to be seen. You know me as a coach. I don't, you know, I don't make excuses like you know some other teams do. We were horrible. We were horrible tonight. I mean, our penalty killing, what we went through, our clears, we didn't get pucks out when we could do. I mean, and we caused all our own troubles. And uh, you know, JF made three or four big saves to start the game, and then you know, bang, 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 they come in with two quick goals, and and we got all out of position. Uh, from a penalty killing point of view, and and then we, you know, we got that goal back. Lewis going to the net and uh, to make it two one, and and I thought, okay, we're back in it, you know. And then bang bang, two goals. Jameson should have been on the defensive side of his guy. Apart from that, he played a great game tonight. But they can't switch off. If you want a league, and players that haven't won a league have to understand this: that you cannot switch off. You got the most deadliest duo in the league in Hand and Bugard out there. Why give them that opportunity? And so, but that's that's the negative side that can't be hidden. But what a what a comeback! And you know the fans that say, "Why the hell did you pull a goalie?" Well, you do it for reasons like we did tonight. It's a great launch pad for the next eight days. And Nottingham, Sheffield, and Belfast all <laughs> playing against all of them. It, that that will probably make or break the season this, this next week or two. I would have thought. Yeah, it does. And you know, and to and to come back from a win like that, hopefully, gives spurns everybody up. You know. Gives everybody the confidence. And I don't want to get in that position again, Anthony. But it happens in hockey. And you do go out and you don't have your best games. I mean, we played very well against Hull. We played very well. These are a good team. Manchester are a good hockey club. And we've only beaten them, you know, by one goal in every game this year. But uh, we have to be ready tomorrow.
and you know I'll make sure every single individual's ready because it's a huge huge game for us and you know we can get into second place tomorrow and we can start breathing right down Sheffield's neck and we've got them the following week and you know we've got the Challenge Cup here on Wednesday which is uh, a trophy that you know we've won twice we've lost in a final against I tell you Belfast Giants are the most talented team in the league offensively they're the most talented team in the league and if we play like we did tonight like you just mentioned they'll uh, they'll carve us up like they they did do in the two games prior so my goaltender has to be on his best game my D have to block plays keep it simple make 10 foot passes my forwards they have to do a work from a defensive point of view as well and uh, that's what you have to do in the big games but we'll see how it goes tomorrow's another day